everybody, welcome back to another episode of Dad Mods. Uh, today, as you guys saw in the last video, if you're following the series, uh, we ran into a little fitment issues with a certain engine. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the flathead won't yeah. work with the S10 clip. It's a bummer, but... Yeah, it's a real bummer. <laughs> that was a harsh lesson. <laughs> just means you're gonna uh, swap it or whatever. Yeah, yeah exactly. So here we are. We're gonna take the rest of the day that would otherwise have been fitting this flathead motor in here and we're gonna put the brakes on the shoebox. Shoebox Fords have a like an underbody uh, master cylinder brake assembly and everything. It's a really funky setup. Everything is one big assembly. It's crazy. Um, so originally our plan was we were gonna install one of these anyways, and then we were just gonna have to keep everything under there. It's gonna have to have the original master cylinder underneath it to keep the clutch and everything like that, the clutch arm, all attached to it still because it is such a big crazy assembly that needs all the different pieces to stay there as far as we know we haven't found an adapter to run only the clutch arm it's really weird but more than likely an auto trans is going to be going in this thing anyways so uh so that the wife can drive it um it's really it's ultimately a cruiser so not really that big of a deal we've got other manual transmission fun cars what we're gonna be doing is uh, I'm gonna keep this manual brakes and we're gonna be using a um, big ass uh, brake master cylinder. Uh, that's going to attach to a hanging, yeah, hanging brake assembly. So uh, this guy, it's, uh, they're all kind of the same. This is an eBay one, um, identical to the speed, Speedway ones as far as I know. Um, so what this does is this bolts in the inside of your car against the firewall. Firewall's here and uh, this guy bolts on right there. And that's why it's got the extra holes drilled in it, uh, unlike the Speedway version. So this one's been made to work with a manual brake setup. So we're going to install that today and hopefully not screw anything up. Hopefully. Hopefully. So. Thank you for joining us. Start cutting holes. Go for it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> sort of like the normal spot on your foot, kind of center-ish to uh, center to three-quarter up on your foot from your heel, uh, which is usually where you're depressing a pedal from, and we're measuring that distance from the floor to get an idea of where we want the pad from this whole assembly to go. So, I'll just hold it off to the side. What is seven to eight inches up? Right where you have it. So right about there. Yep, that's what I'm yeah, so the baffle, the baffle is way bigger than the diameter of the tube. So, I mean, we want to try and like retain that, but it, it gives us a little right bit of, here. yeah, exactly. So it's literally just going to be off to the side here. Yeah, that should be just fine. Yeah. yeah, yeah and then your should. master cylinder will sit here and it's tucked up out of the way out of everything. Yep. Okay, so uh, now it's time for us to actually hang this thing. We got our height kind of figured out. We want to be about seven to eight inches off of the floor, which means that we're going to be kind of in line with where the air tube and baffle and all this stuff is. So that, but just a little bit towards the center of, uh, of the steering shaft, kind of like a little bit off to it. So we just, we don't want the actual uh, pedal arm to hit it. So we're gonna kind of aim somewhere in, in this area. But the first thing we gotta do is uh, kind of try and cut back this rubberized uh, firewall, baffle, uh, noise, heat, membrane, whatever you'd call it. So I'll just try and cut this back and not slice my hand open. Firewall. 
So we are dropping the column now so we can kind of uh, tuck the, the pedal assembly up above it and then we'll re, uh, reinstall, reinstall the column. That way we can check our clearances, decide whether or not we need to trim, uh, trim this whole pedal assembly. Nice. Awesome, now we can test this thing out. And that's how you get tilted steering in a shoebox. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we're just going to test something out here. Uh, we've got to look at the underside of it and kind of got an idea of where we like the pedal assembly to go in the inside of the car. But clearance is super important on the outside of it. And I want to put it in a place that if I ever did want to put a brake booster on it, that it's still going to work. So we're going to aim to have it about seven and a half inches off the floor, roughly. That should give enough room ever want to put a floor mat down there. Um, should work if my wife drives it. She's got smaller feet. Um, and then, I mean, it's still like a pretty decent height inside. And we're trying to have it actually kind of sit flush up against the dash. And we'll show you guys what we're going to do for a secondary mount. So I'm just going to drill a hole at approximately where we think the center point might be through the firewall from the engine bay side so that we can get a look at the inside and just see how far off we are. We're gonna end up having to drill a big hole in here anyways with the hole saw, so it's not a big deal that we're just kinda of punching holes in here and st sticking the drill bit through. So, I'm gonna do that right now. Uh, we're gonna start by having it kind of a little ways down. So we're gonna leave that in. And then we can go take a look from the inside of the car to see where that ends up. Wow, we did pretty good. All right. All right, now I'll go ahead and toss it in. Yeah, the pedal doesn't hit the, uh, it doesn't hit it at all. Yeah, dude. Filming a YouTube show. Oh, it just was pointing down so much. I didn't know what you. Well, I was filming what you were doing. Filming my, my junk. Trying not to film you, but just what you were doing. Just what I was doing. All right. So what I'm doing is I'm taking um, cardboard to make a template. So we've got to put a bracket. Bracket for the proportioning valve for the brakes. So 
What I'm gonna do is get the, sort of the angle, uh, angle of this, this uh, body mount here, so I can get the back side figured out. There you go. Uh, I mean, if I was like really um, trying harder, I would have uh, I would have put a level on this side to make sure that it's perfectly level. But I eyeballed it because that's what we do with everything in here. So this gets the back line, um, and when we cut this, we know it's going to butt up smooth, and tight against this back piece, so we can transfer that over to the sheet metal that we're going to be cutting, and then we'll make the sheet metal size to fit the. Um, Proportioning valve. Pretty scientific stuff, guys. So we have to make a couple of custom lines today. And talk to this one. Talk to that one? <laughs> yeah. You know, well, with my eyes, if I stare down the middle, and they can talk to both at the same time. <laughs> Self burn. <laughs> hi. All right. I don't know why I said hi. We're in the middle of the How are you guys doing? All right. Um, so we have to make some custom brake lines. Go figure. We're going to be using the Titan uh, crimping tool. This is a little bit different than your standard O'Reilly's or house brand type stuff as this is a pistol grip style. So what's nice about this, is it actually has a stop here where you adjust your 3 16th line up to here. That locks it into place. You have two 10 millimeter bolts. That clamps on, as you can see it's two piece. That clamps it in there and that's a really tight, snug fit. Back off your stopper here and you have a multi-purpose die. Now this is for double flares. So what you do is you use your bubble style first, using a 17 mil, you snug it down and there's a little arrow. You want to snug it down and you want the arrow to be facing where it says SAE here. Back it off, flip your die over and that's going to do a double flare for you. Snug that guy up. And once you're done, you can loosen up your two 10 mils and you're good to go. Very nifty, very clean, secures everything nice. You don't get that wobble you get with the other type of uh, firing tools. So that's why we went with this guy. Starting to get pressure. Hold? Yep, holding. So um, now that we've got the brake pedal assembly uh, completed, I just want to show you guys exactly how we went about doing this, some of the kind of the details of it. So um, one of the best parts of these hanging pedal assemblies, these universal ones that you can get from like Speedway, um, there's some on eBay, there's a couple other performance brands that 
sell them. They're all basically the same thing. Um, what's nice about them is they extend out quite a ways and you can kind of like build supports off of them. So what we did, and it's not the prettiest thing, but it's pretty, pretty hidden. Um, we just took a piece of eighth inch uh, flat stock, cut out a shape to bolt onto where the um, steering column will attach to. And uh, we made a secondary mount for it because the firewall on these things are pretty thin. Like you can flex it with your hand. So you'd have to do some, some real reinforcing if you wanted to just use only the firewall. So what we did is we used the dash as well. Because the dash is actually pretty thick. It's stamped. There's like two layers on the underside here. Like this is actually really thick stuff right here. And it's tied to a couple different points in the body. It's, you know, it's just like bead rolling. It's like the more curve that you give to a sheet of steel, the firmer it gets. So this is actually pretty pretty firm. And when I was pushing down on this thing, I was getting no firewall flex at all. So anyway, we welded this piece to the front of it and had a bolt on right here. And as far as the firewall side of this mount, um, you pretty much just eye it up in line with these bolts. You're going to want to put it a little bit off to the side for the steering column because you want this arm to hang just to the left of it. Uh, if you're doing a manual transmission, if you're staying manual, um, you might have some issues getting close to the uh, clutch lever, but uh, I'm not sure because we didn't leave it in here. So the clutch, clutch pedal is kind of a big question mark. Um, you might be able to modify this or bend it. Um, you just don't want to reduce the length of it because the length of this arm is a torque multiplier. So you want to keep that in mind. So on the firewall, um, what we did was we went just off to the side of those crazy air tubes, the ones that are like the uh, crotch coolers. Um, we went just to the, uh, towards the center of the car, just off of it, so we don't foul the whole tube assembly, the fresh air tube assembly. Um, and then basically just had it as level as we could possibly get it going forward, and it worked out beautifully. We got really good spacing on everything, and uh, it misses the steering column, um, bolts on really nicely here. So yeah, so far so good. We haven't gotten a chance to try it in action, but um, we will and uh, hopefully it'll all work out. Uh, one other thing to keep in mind, uh, we did have to purchase a, a rod. Um, the kits come with, uh, it's like they're intended to use uh, a booster. So we stayed manual brakes in this case. Uh, I might add a booster later on, I haven't decided. Uh, but we have manual brakes, so we had to get a manual rod. So keep that in mind, that's something you might have to purchase. But there we go, that's how she fits in here. Works pretty nice, pretty firm. So excited to give it a try. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to put those in the comments, message us on social media, whatever. We're always happy to help. Yep. So um, I think in the next video, we'll uh, tackle some, some engine stuff. We're gonna start figuring that's, that out. That's the plan. Yeah. Put something here. Unless something else becomes a priority before that because we run into an issue with <laughs> figuring out the motor. Who Hopefully knows? we got it figured out finally. Now that uh, we know the flathead's not going to work. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think we have a good idea what's going to happen. Yeah, I think we do. So, thank you very much for joining us, and we'll see you in the next one. So it's just an adornment to yeah. most uh, situations. Yeah, it's like, hey, look at me. There's got yeah, to see. be another purpose for the pinky, really, than just shoving it in orifices. I have no clue. I don't know. You guys should tell us, uh, comment. What another function for the pinky hits? <laughs>